Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to randomize your Minecraft Java world using a data pack. So, first things first, you're going to want to click on the link I have in the description. This is just a site that someone made to easily get the randomized data pack. So here we are. You can choose between Java 1.16, 1.15, and 1.14. You can randomize the blocks or block drops in, in this case. You can randomize mob drops, what's inside of chests, and you can randomize fishing and hero of the village gifts. You can also randomize crafting. It can be fun, but it's also extremely hard. Once you have all of your settings done, click randomize. It will now start creating a data pack for you. And once it's done, it will give you a download. So, I have my downloaded files here. Next, you will go to single player. Click on create new world. I'm doing this in 1.16.1. You could do this in 1.16 or above or whatever version you want that supports data packs. Next, you click on data packs. Click on open pack folder. It will open the pack folder. Then you drag your two zip files. In this case, I have the random recipes and the random loot file. Once they're dragged over, you can close it of both of these. And you click done. Then go back into your data packs folder and enable both of them. Once you're done that, the data packs are now loaded. So we'll do. change anything you want. In this case, I'll make it survival with a normal difficulty and have cheats on in case I can't find a crafting table because that is an issue that happens. Next, click create new world. And once your world is done, it should be randomized. So as a test, we will break the stir block. And it gave me a sign. This flower gives me soul sand. Soul sand gives me cobblestone stairs. So there you go. That's how you randomize your game in Java with a data pack. I hope you enjoyed.